Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, oh my word, am I ever excited about this DIY because I am bringing to you a DIY that you are absolutely gonna love. This is a must-see DIY using, yes, these plastic play balls that you can get at Dollar Tree, you can get them at Walmart. We've all seen them in those huge bins. Our kids all have had them today. I can't wait to show you what I do with this. You're not going to want to miss this and you're not going to believe the outcome of it. It is amazing. And this is one, did I say, that I'm super excited about. So I'm going to quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let me show you what I do with a bouncy ball that you're going to love, that you're going to want to do too. It is so budget friendly. It's quick and easy too. Okay, I'm going to quit my gabbing. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in following me on this next new chapter of my life and all of the amazing paths that it takes me on, you can find the link to my blog in the description box below where I will be posting a new blog every Friday morning at 8 a.m. This is where I get personal because everything is personal, including this blog. So yes, I am in fact using a ball. This is one that I got from Dollar Tree. I need to put a hanger on this ball. So I'm gonna attach some twine to the top right where you would add air to it with hot glue. But the hot glue I'm using is a low temperature hot glue because you don't wanna melt the ball. So once I've tied a few strands of twine together and kind of knotted it off on the end, I'm gonna let the glue set there for a minute while it gets tacky, it cools off, so I can then place it right here just like so, and this is going to act as a hanger. And I'm sure by now you all know what I'm making. I need to paint this ball. Guess what? I don't have any spray paint in my stash. I did go to Walmart. Walmart, in fact, is completely out of spray paint. They had a few random colors, but for the most part, spray paint is non-existent in my area. I went to several different Walmarts, and I guess it's because a lot of our product is stuck at the ports because we don't have any truck drivers. And so a lot of the stores aren't getting their products and their merchandise. And so, great, no spray paint. Since I can't get spray paint, I'm going to make my Waverly chalk paint work. It's going to take a few coats, but you know what? It's going to get the job done. If you have spray paint, I'd spray paint it. It's going to be a lot quicker and less coats. A lot smoother too. Did I say though? I'm going to make this work. I'm feeling like I want to cover up the seam of the ball. And so to do that, well, it would be nice if the ball was in frame, Kelly. Oh my word. Oh, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the ball, hot glue it on and cover up that seam. Yeah, just like that. Did you know that Walmart has berry picks? And they're 97 cents and they have a huge variety of them. They have some that are frosted and some that aren't. So I picked up several of them because they're three cents cheaper to be told than the Dollar Tree, right? So this is a great place to get these if your Dollar Tree doesn't have any. And so I picked up three that were semi-frosted. Yeah, they had some semi-frosted ones too. I'm gonna shorten the stem on this by just taking some wire cutters and cutting off that stem because I don't need a long stem. Once I've got three of my berry picks done, stem shortened, again, I'm gonna use some hot glue on low temperature. I'm gonna let it set for a minute so it can cool down. It'll still get tacky. Once I feel like it's not too hot, I'm gonna go ahead and yes, place it right on top of the ball here. Look at how pretty that looks. Now I'm only putting it on half the ball on top because the other half I'm gonna be using this Buffalo Check wired ribbon. You can find nine feet of this at Dollar Tree. It's by Crafter Square. To make a bow, I'm just gonna layer my ribbon just as you see me doing here. Just kind of accordion folding it, I guess, if you will. Is that a good way of putting it? 
I'm gonna do it, I wanna say five or six layers thick. You're gonna do as many layers as you want because the layers are gonna be dependent on how full your bow is. So the fuller you want your bow, the more layers you're gonna put. Since I've got this buffalo check ribbon handy, I'm gonna use that to tie all my layers together just by tying it off in the center here, good and tight. Once I've got it tied off, I'm gonna go ahead and separate those layers and start to give my bow some form. And because this is a wired ribbon, it's gonna make it easier and it's gonna hold its shape in its form so much better than regular ribbon does. And guess where I'm gonna put it? Yes, yeah, right on top of this mess here, covering it up. Haha, -ha. this is so pretty. I love the way this ball is turning out and those berries give this just the pop of color that it needed. Loving the buffalo check on the white ball. I just love these. What a fun DIY this is. Did I tell you? It's super budget friendly. Oh my word, seriously. Look at how beautiful this giant ornament ball is. I love this. You can really get creative with these. So that's just what I'm gonna do using these fun fancy bowls that you can find in the party section at Dollar Tree. I just love the shape of these. I'm gonna take a screwdriver. This is one that I don't use because I don't even know what it's used for. So it'll be perfect for this DIY. I'm gonna heat this up on my stove, put the tip of it in the flame, get it good and hot. Once I get it good and hot, I'm just gonna place it right on the top of the bowl. No, the bottom of the bowl, but it's the top because it's upside down. And look at what I just did. I made a hole in the bottom of the bowl. What do I need a hole for? To put the twine for our hanger. Yes, that's how you put a hole in a plastic bowl. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed my twine through that hole. I'm gonna flip my bowl over, tie it off in a knot, so that way, yes, the twine doesn't come out of the ball. And there we have just made a hanger for our soon to be fun shaped ornament ball. To glue these two halves together, I'm gonna be using some of this quick grip glue by Beacon. This is a great glue because it dries super fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline the bottom part of this bowl. Then I'm just gonna place my lid with the twine hanger right on top of it. I'm gonna let it set for about an hour and it'll be good and dry, ready to, yes, paint. I will tell you, originally I was gonna do three ornaments using these clear plastic bowls that I also found at Dollar Tree. I kinda wanted a larger one, but this bowl, I gotta tell you, it was a victim of Winnie. Winnie pulled it off of my craft table and had her way with it, and I later found it in the backyard in a couple of different pieces. So yeah, this one never made it through the DIY, but you see, you can make one out of this one too. But I still have this one, so we're gonna continue on with this one. The paint that I'm gonna use for this ornament is this Dazzling Metallics by Deco Art that I got at Michael's. Again, couldn't find any spray paint, so this is the route I am going. This did in fact need about four coats of paint because it is a thinner metallic paint and I wanted to get good coverage. And so yeah, I tried to hang it and paint it. It was much harder than holding it. So I'm sure there's probably an easier way to go about painting these, but this is the route that I went. And this is where I hung them to allow them to dry in between coats. I used my shower curtain rod, why not? I'm not super happy with where the two bowls meet that seam there. I feel like it looks messy. Actually, it does look messy. So I'm gonna hide it and to hide it again, I'm gonna go with some ribbon. This is a white and metallic silvery metallic, I guess ribbon that I just found at Dollar Tree that goes perfect with the paint color. So yeah, just by placing some hot glue along that seam, I'm gonna place the ribbon just like so, and it's gonna do what I need it to do. Ah, yes, much better. I'm happy with that. For this one, I opted to go with the Frosted Berry Picks. I like the way it looks. I think it kind of goes well with the metallic. And so again, I'm gonna use three of the berry picks for the top and only do half of the top of this ornament because on the other half, because for this one, I'm going with a white wired ribbon. This is one that I got from where? Kirkland, so that is Costco, yeah, 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 yeah. This is from Costco. This is a ribbon that you can get right around this time, which is Christmas time every year. Costco has a great selection of wired ribbon. You're getting 50 yards for $10. I feel like that's a great buy. I really do. And so I like to pick up a couple rolls each year just to add to my collection. 
I really don't even go through one roll a year. I wanna say I've probably had this roll for five years and it's nice just to have it on hand because when I need a white wired ribbon like this one, I can use it. So for this bow, you can see how I'm doing it. I started off with, okay, the kind of the hoop on the top because I wanna give this more of a finished look because I'm not gonna separate the layers. This is gonna have more of a uniformed look. And so you can achieve that easily just by doing it like I did there. And you can see that I went ahead, I hot glued all the layers together and I'm gonna place it right on the top here covering up this mess on this ornament. Now with these ornaments, they don't have tails. So on the front of this, I just like to cut a couple of, I guess, tails of my own from the ribbon and just kind of hot glue it under the berry picks and it gives it that look that it is in fact a real bow. Yes, let's take a look at this, shall we? Okay, I gotta say, although I'm not a metallic girl, I love the look of this ornament ball. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Kathy, who is bringing to us her recreation of my pumpkin DIY made out of the pumpkin trick-or-treat pails. Kathy, I am loving the fabric. I am loving your edition of the raffia. Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. How amazing is that? Who would have thought that you could use a play ball to make such an amazing ornament? What's great about this, have I told you? It was quick, it was easy, and it was budget friendly. You can't ask for more. And when you get an outcome like this, it's a win-win. This is one of those DIYs that I feel is such a versatile DIY because it can so easily be done to suit any decor style for the same budget friendly price. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY giant size ornament made out of a play ball. Please make sure to give this video mm -hmm, a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, and I know I sound like a broken record, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but you know what else I'm gonna say? Stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody.